If you've ever felt a little vulnerable while your hairstylist or barber has worked in such close proximity to your throat with very sharp objects, then this movie will make you want to start cutting your own hair. Claire is a talented hairstylist. She's a bit of an introvert, a little socially awkward, and extremely disturbed. After cutting Brad to be Olivia's hair, Claire becomes obsessed with her, an obsession that causes her already tenuous hold on sanity to completely slip. Bloodshed ensues. Now, I had no idea what I was in for when I first put Jill Gavargizian's The Stylist into my Blu-ray player. I'd heard positive things, but I wanted to go into the movie knowing as little about it as possible. And by the end of The Stylist, I was both pleasantly surprised and highly impressed. On one hand, The Stylist is a good old-fashioned psychological horror film, a character study in which the character being studied is a maniac. On the other hand, The Stylist is such a well-made and terrifically acted film with its own unique vision and tone that it rises above being just another psychological horror film. At the heart of The Stylist is a phenomenal performance from Najara Townsend as Claire. At a glance, Claire is an attractive, slightly socially awkward young woman just doing her thing. However, Claire hides some rather dark secrets. We're given quite an introduction to Claire in the film's opening moments. An ostensibly routine hair appointment with a typically dry banter about work and home life that we've all shared with the person cutting our hair before shifts rather abruptly and pretty shockingly to something else. From there, we're taken into Claire's twisted world, a little hideaway where she stores keepsakes from her victims. Each keepsake is an escape from her own tortured existence. Lots of people dream about being someone else. Claire is able to live out that dream by wearing the scalps of her victims. Some people cosplay, some people roleplay, some people wear other people's scalps. To each their own. Claire is a cold-blooded killer. There's no two ways about it. Yet it's incredibly difficult not to like her, to feel for her, and to see something of yourself in her. But Claire isn't so far gone that she doesn't recognize what she's doing is not good. And just as Claire's about to start a new chapter in her life, a chapter with... Significantly fewer scalpings, one would hope. Enter Olivia, a friendly acquaintance who begs Claire to do her wedding hair. Unfortunately for Olivia, though, Claire reluctantly agrees, and her fixation on Olivia begins. Olivia is everything that Claire isn't, and has everything that Claire wants. A successful career, a fiancé, friends, a future, normalcy, and a seller that isn't full of human scalps. At least I think. Co-writer and director Jill Gavargizian, a former hairstylist herself, does an excellent job of establishing Claire without going too deep into her background and creating a needless and histrionic backstory. The Stylist is also a great-looking movie with lots of stylish touches, plenty of tension, and a delightfully offbeat tone that I found totally engrossing. Brea Grant delivers a strong performance as Olivia, but this is Najara Townsend's show, and she delivers a riveting performance. Townsend perfectly captures Claire's introverted nature, her twisted desire to be someone other than herself, and her sadness. Townsend crafts the kind of character that you genuinely want to help. Just make sure there are no sharp objects nearby. The ending of The Stylist was a little predictable, I thought, but still quite effective. The Stylist is a stylish, well-crafted portrait of a damaged human being with a phenomenal performance from its lead. I can't recommend the film any higher. As far as this Blu-ray release from Arrow Video is concerned, I give the picture quality and the sound quality both a solid 4.5 out of 5. The movie both looked and sounded fantastic on this release from Arrow Video. As far as presentation, this release comes with a slipcover featuring some pretty cool artwork. On the back of the slip we have the plot synopsis, the list of extras, the technical specs, and so on. The sleeve is reversible. On one side we have this moody artwork for the film, and on the reverse we have the same artwork that's on the slip. There's the Blu-ray disc. This release also comes with the original soundtrack by Nicholas Alert. We get a booklet with an essay on the film by Emma Westwood and a write-up about the locations by Jill Gavargizian. We also get a reversible poster. As far as extras are concerned, we get an optional intro to the film from director Jill Gavargizian. We get The Invisible Woman, which is 20 minutes and 14 seconds in length. It's a visual essay from author and critic Alexandra Heller Nicholas on the themes of women's labor and female killers in the stylist and horror cinema. We get several behind-the-scenes featurettes in which the cast and crew discuss the origins of the stylist, turning the short film into a feature-length film, understanding the character of Claire, the production design, the locations, filming in Kansas City, and how the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl disrupted filming, and much more. 
We get location scouting, which is 4 minutes and 12 seconds. We get 6 minutes and 31 seconds of outtakes. We get the original Kickstarter video for the film. We get the stylist short film and another short film directed by Ms. Gabargizian entitled Pity. We get trailers and image galleries. And we get an audio commentary with Jill Gavargizian and Najara Townsend. It was a very informative and highly entertaining commentary, listening to the two of them talk about the making of the film, the goings-on, behind the scenes, and so on. Overall, this is a very nice Blu-ray release for the stylist from the fine folks over at Arrow Video. Both the picture quality and the sound quality are fantastic, and we get a lot of extras. If you're a fan of The Stylist, then this Blu-ray release is definitely a must-own. If you've not seen The Stylist, again, I highly recommend it. This Blu-ray from Arrow would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. If you've seen The Stylist, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for exclusive live streams, get early access to videos, and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Become a channel member and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.